a really wet grey day so it's perfect weather to head for the Barbican for a wander. So this is a, a, a brick and stone bastion from the Middle Ages that was built either along the line or near the line of the Roman wall. The City of London has these great covered walkways that kind of follow the line of the old Roman wall, the London wall. I think this yellow line leads to the Barbican. Alban High Walk, I don't know if that's a reference to the origin myth, or one of the origin myths of, 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 of England, the story of Albana, which is where the name Albion comes from. very easy to get lost at the Barbican. You can just go around in circles endlessly trying to get into the Barbican Hall or even just trying to get out of it. I've done that many times. Thankfully today my aim is to actually get lost. So. The Barbican even has its own microclimate. Inside the Barbican now. It's a bit like walking around a space station walking around here. It's like 2001, look, that door just opened. I find that a bit spooky. And look, this conservatory with all these sort of tropical plants it makes it seem even more like a space station. This is what London might look like in the future after civilization has ended, plants reclaiming the sort of concrete landscape. So this, this kayak just goes around the gallery really slowly. It takes about half an hour. In a way, it's what these videos are. These are like slow walks or slow vlogs. Barbican is one of our great public spaces in London. People just come and hang out here. 